Hey everyone, today we're going to make a monthly budget that looks something like this, and at the end of the video, I'm going to leave a link to a template so that you can use this spreadsheet for yourself. So first, we're going to need a blank spreadsheet, and I'm going to start with my title, and the first table we're making will be called Transactions for July 2025, since this is a monthly budget, and then our four subheadings will be the date, the description of our transaction, the amount, and then which budget category it falls into. And for some quick formatting, this description uh, column, we're gonna resize to double it to give us more space. And then we're also going to resize the amount to size 125. And the category, we'll resize to column width 175. After that, I'll start with one mock transaction where let's say on July 1st, 2025, we received our paycheck for $2,000 and the category will be our salary. And then for formatting real quick, we want to format column A as date so that it always formats in this way. So select column A and then in more formats, go down to date and just select the first one. And we're also going to center this. And then for amount in column C, we're gonna to go to formats and format as accounting. And then real quick after that, we're gonna take all these headers and format these, align them to the left. And then we will take the transactions for July, 2025, highlight those first four cells and we can merge and center. And then just to clean this up a little, we're gonna give ourselves some room to fill in many transactions here. So we'll go all the way down and fill it with borders, all borders. And then I'm also going to change the font real quick. I like Montserrat, so we're gonna use that. I'm going to make the transactions header a little bit bigger. We'll do size 12. And then I will also highlight those first two rows, bold them. And then we can also color in our header to a light blue and our main header to a dark blue. And then we can change the font to white so that we can see it better. After this, we're going to make a budget table off to the side from our transactions table and they will relate to each other as you'll see. But I'm going to resize this column E to size 25 and hit OK. This will just be the buffer in between transactions and the budget. So in this cell F1, we can type in budget for July 2025. And then we're going to have six different columns here. So we will have category, type, budget, actual, the percentage, and then the progress. And you'll see what all of these mean in a moment. For sizing, all we have to do is resize the category column. We're gonna make this 175 like we did in column D. And then the percentage, we can shrink down a little to 75 just so everything fits in well. And then just to start, I'm going to create five main categories. So we're gonna have our salary, uh, which is an income, so that's the type. And then we're going to have our rent and general expenses. And those, of course, will be expenses. That's the type. And then underneath that, we will have savings as well as investments. And we are just going to group those together as savings because they're not expenses, but they are money that you're putting away from your income. And real quick, before I fill out the rest of this, we're going to format it exactly how we formatted the first table with all of these borders and then we can color in our headers as well. Let's merge and center this first center. And then we can change the color to make it match our first table just like that and change the font up for the title slide. After this, the budget and actual columns we can format as accounting since these will be our budgeted amount and then the actual amount. So you can add as many categories as you want. I'm starting very simple. For example, general expenses, 
is a category, but you could break that down into many different types of expenses, but it might be easier just to show it this way. And I'm just going to make up some budgeted amounts. So our budget is $4,000 of income per month. Our budget for rent will be $1,800, $1,000 for general expenses. And then we're budgeting to save $600 and invest $600 each month. The actual amount will be a formula. So the actual amount will come from this transactions uh, table over here. So go into this first cell in the actual column and type in equals sum ifs and then open your parentheses and we are going to highlight column C. Then we can add a comma and our criteria range will be column D. We can add another comma and the criteria will be our category over here. So we can click on cell F3 and hit enter. You can already see that the formula is working as we have our $2,000 in salary being pulled over from the transactions table. We can then drag this formula all the way down and it will work for the other categories as you see when we put more information in. So one thing that's gonna make this spreadsheet a little easier is we don't wanna to have to type in the category every time because say our spelling is a little bit different, it's not gonna work with the formula. So what I'm gonna do is create a drop down menu so we have certain options to pick from. So to do that, I'm going to highlight this entire range from D3 down to D27, and then select data, and then down here, data validation. Then I'm going to add a rule, and it's applying to this range, D3 to D27. And we are going to, for our criteria, select drop down from a range, and then we can select our data range as You'll see the whole thing here. Everything from salary to investments, F3 to F7, and we can hit OK. So now we have a drop down list where we have five options to select from. And just because I prefer the other view, I'm going to click on advanced options and display style arrow. And then hit done and X out of this. So now you'll see if we go into our drop down menu for category, all five options from the categories on the right will show up here. Okay, next step to make this visually more appealing, we are going to assign colors to everything. Um, you'll see in a second, I'm gonna make all the income categories green, the expenses red, and the savings purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these columns D to F because those are the categories that we want to color and I'm going to go into format and then select conditional formatting down here. So you'll see the range we're applying to is D1 to F1000. That's perfect. That's what we're looking for. And for format rules, we will format cells if and then select text is exactly and then we can type in all our different categories. We'll start with salary and we'll make it green then add another rule we will change the text here to rent rent will be red because it's an expense add another rule then we can do the same thing with general expenses keep it red add another rule we'll do savings and we're going to make this purple because it's not quite an expense uh, we're just putting the money away and then add one more rule and we will make investments purple as well. And we can hit done, X out. And you'll see off to the left, say we have, let's just type in on July 10th, we have our monthly rent. The amount is 1800. And if we select rent from the drop down menu, it shows up in red. And then that also transfers over to our actual tab on the right. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna copy in some sample transactions and then I'll come back and finish the rest of it. All right, so we put in a few more transactions and now we have at least one transaction for every category on our budget table off to the right. So now we can fill out our percentage and progress columns, which are kind of the coolest part of this thing. The percentage part is real easy. All you have to do is type in equals and then we'll select the actual and divide it by the budget, hit enter. 
and then X out of this. We're also going to format this as a percentage. You'll see that 100% of our budgeted salary has been achieved as we budgeted 4,000 and we have an actual amount of 4,000. If we drag this all the way down, you'll see it carry over where, for example, so far we've saved $450 and that's 75% of our 600 budgeted savings. The progress tab will just be a visual representation of this percentage as you'll see in a moment. So let's start with the salary and this is kind of a long formula. So make sure that all the punctuations are correct. We'll st start by typing in equals sparkline, open our parentheses, and then just select cell J3, the percentage. We can add a comma, and then we can add a, not that kind of bracket, a squiggly bracket. Then in quotations, type in chart type, end quotations, comma, and then in quotations, bar, end quotations. Semicolon comes next to separate the next part of it, and we'll type in quotations max, and quotations, comma, 100%, semicolon, and then in quotations, color one, and quotations, comma, then in quotations one more time, green, because we want the color of this progress bar to be green because it is an income. Then we can end our quotations, end our squiggly bracket, and then end our parentheses and hit enter. So you'll see this progress bar is filled up all the way because we have achieved 100% of our budgeted salary for the month. If I drag this formula all the way down, you'll see progress bars for every other category as well, except I just wanna change the color of these to match the category color as well. So all you have to do is go back into the individual formulas. We're gonna type in red for rent, we can drag that down to general expenses. That will be red. Then savings, we're going to change from green to purple. And we can drag that down to the investments as well. So now you just have a visual representation of how close to your monthly budgeted amount you are for each category. So it's easier to see how close you are to going over and if you need to make any changes. Okay, and now I'm just gonna make one more little table that's summing uh, all the incomes, all the expenses and all the savings into one spot so they're not split up by category. So I'm gonna go down a few rows under this budget for July 2025 table and we'll type in totals, uh, budget, actual, percent and progress. This is going to be very similar to the table above and our totals will be income, expenses, and savings. And then we can format this like we did above. We can add those borders and we can make our headers formatted as all our headers were formatted before. We'll make the budget and actual formatted as accounting, which it already is, and the percentage, just make sure that's formatted as a percent. So all we need to do is go into this cell H11, and we're gonna add a sum ifs equation where we type in equals sum ifs, open our parentheses, and we're going to sum from H3 to H7, add a comma, if G3 to G7, comma, equals G11. So this will sum all the budgeted amounts if the type in this column here is equal to income over here. We can hit enter. And before we copy this over, I'm just gonna add some dollar signs so that the references uh, stay where they need to be. So add a dollar sign before the three in H3, before the seven in H7, and then before G and three, before G and seven, and then before the G and G11. And then we can hit enter. And because we put in all those dollar signs, we'll now be able to drag over and down. And you can cross check this. Um, for example, actual expenses we have is 2055, which makes sense. 1800 plus 255 is 2055. The percentage, we're gonna do the same formula as above. So we did actual divided by budget. We're gonna do the same here, equals I11 over H11. 
hit enter and we can do the suggested autofill. So we see that for the month, we've met 100% of what we expect in income. We've spent 73% of what we've budgeted for, and we've saved 68% of what we budgeted for. And then we can just copy the progress formulas from above. So we'll copy the green one down to income. We'll copy the red one down to expenses, and we'll copy the purple one down to savings. And then just one last little thing I want to add, I'm going to add in yellow here down at the bottom and then in borders. This is just going to be the difference between what we've budgeted to come in versus what we've budgeted to come out. So the equation is just going to be equals income minus expenses minus savings and enter. So our budget is that we will have 4,000 come in and we will have 4,000 either go out or go to savings. And then if we drag this over, the actual amount. So we still have $1,120 to play with given the actual activity we have from our transactions table. And that's basically it. You can add as many transactions or as many different categories as you want. If you want me to make a different version of this with more categories, I'd be happy to. And if you need to copy this over to the next month, then simply just make a new tab and create a new budget for August and so on and so forth. And you could even sum those up to a yearly budget if you want. So again, I'm just leaving the template to this in the description of the video. All you have to do is go into that template and make a copy of this spreadsheet so that you can use it for yourself. And I hope this is useful for you. If it is, feel free to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.